me ask you something. Have you done everything you were supposed to do this week? Nope. Why not? I don't remember. That's a common answer. Did you do things that you were not supposed to do this week? Yes? yes. Well, why didn't, instead of doing things you weren't supposed to do, why didn't you take that time to do things you were supposed to do? You want to go to Daddy? G's had his time. Okay. So, why didn't you use, instead of doing the things you weren't supposed to do, why didn't you spend that time doing the things you were supposed to do? What? You didn't want to do that. Did anybody make you not do that? Okay. How'd you feel when I'm pointing the fingers? Huh? See, I'm kind of an authority figure, right? And when I'm pointing my finger, it's like I pay attention. It's almost like God's pointing at me. Okay. But when when mom or dad comes home, and uh, you ever been and uh, uh, and there was something that you weren't supposed to do while mom and dad were gone, and they come home and and you had done what you weren't supposed to do. What do you do when they, when you hear them coming? Do you, do you go hide? You kind of, you kind of, you're you're in the basement, you're out in the backyard, you're up in your room. Oh, okay, you, you go look like you're doing something good. You're supposed to be doing. All right. Well, did you hear? Did you hear in the text today, when God had told Adam and Eve something they were not supposed to do? Remember what that was? Yeah, there was a special tree they could eat of. They could have, they could have fruit off of any tree in the garden that they wanted to. But there was just one tree that they weren't supposed to eat the fruit of. And that was the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. And he says, if you eat the fruit of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, you'll die. And then God left them alone and, and he went back up in heaven and left Adam and Eve. And what did they do? They ate it. Yeah. They could have eaten from any other fruit in it, but they wanted to eat that one. Yeah. Did they have help? No. What, who helped them decide to eat that tree? Satan. That fruit. What? Satan. Satan. He came and came in the, into in that serpent that was there, a snake, and uh, talked to him. Beautiful creature. Okay. And that's what our text today says, that uh, uh, our text talks about the... Uh, uh, what Jesus, what God said to them uh, when they came back. And, and, you know, what is the gospel? We talk about the gospel. Is that good news? Yeah, it's the good news of Jesus. Okay. And the text that we read today, the first one, from Adam and Eve in the garden, the last part of that text was the first time in the Bible that God talked about the coming Savior of the world. The, the Savior who was going to defeat that nasty Satan. And that's what we talked about in, in the third lesson we read today, the gospel lesson, the good news, was that Jesus had the power over demons. Yeah. And people point a finger at it and says, you're not supposed to have that kind of power if you're just a man. You must be friends of the devil. So that they, because they listen to you. Would there be another reason why they would listen to Jesus? Not if he was the devil, but if he was. Who else would listen to the demons and obey? Well, Satan is a demon and a devil. But who else would even Satan listen to and he would obey? God. Yeah. 
right. So, uh, what we're going to talk about today is pointing. Listen to what Adam said when God asked him if he had done something wrong. And what we're going to listen to is, who did Adam blame? Hmm? Do you remember? Who did he He blamed Eve. And who else? First he pointed to Eve and says, that woman. But then he didn't stop there. You know who else he pointed to? That woman that you gave me. So who was he blaming? Blaming God. Yeah. Well, see, when we run out of people or things or obsolete to God, it says, you made me this way. Is that an excuse? No. God made you something different in baptism. He made you His child. And He gave you the Holy Spirit to, instead of doing bad things, He gives you the Holy Spirit to do good things. He chose to join in her sin, and he was as guilty as she was. Do you know that there have been theological debates about what happens if Adam has not taken that? See if I mention it in the sermon today. Listen for that, okay? What happens if Adam had not sinned? 